special sessions. There's going to be arguments over school funding. The only thing is, it's kind of like there's a big hammer right above them, and that's a court decision that says you're not giving enough money to the schools for the state funds. So we'll see how that happens. You got highways. You have the opportunity to, if you when you vote or if you've already voted to vote for Proposition One, that is to take some of the all severance taxes that go to the rainy day fund or the governor's economic development fund, however you want to call it, and use that for the highways. Now, I'm not here to tell you they're going to fix all highways because I live in Gonzales and our highways are south of town where all the rich people live are horrible. North of town, we just get the, the people coming there to do service work. But our, our highways are bad, your highways are bad. But uh, some of that money will come back to these rural areas to fix these highways. And it's coming from the oil income, so hopefully we will get that done. Uh, TCEQ has already said, Texas Commission on Environmental Quality has already said that, that uh, the water rules that we have and that the rural water districts are in the way of progress in the cities and their use of our water. Uh, that's going to be a big fight this next session. Uh, in fact, one of the folks that, uh, from San Antonio that's elected there and will be back has uh, kind of spearheaded that. He told me that, uh, that uh, the, the local water district are standing in the way of San Antonio's progress. Kind of made me feel good, but anyway. Uh, the, uh, once again, we're going to see the animal rights people come in. You know, they would like to be able to tell you how to raise your cattle. I watched a Whole Foods commercial on TV the other night, and it was a beautiful ranch up in the mountains somewhere. It had the mountains in the background and a lake and grass about this tall, so I knew it wasn't Texas. And, and, and big, big fat cows. And they were out there just walking around. The people were on horseback standing there looking at them. They weren't pushing them, of course, because that would be the violation of those animal rights. But they were saying, we sell our cows at Whole Foods. Well, Whole Foods is a great operation. If you like organic or natural, that's, that's, that's your right. If you want to raise your cattle like that, that's your right too. But it's also your right to raise your cattle in a professional, industry-approved way, beef quality assurance type of organization. And they don't like that. If you think that Whole Foods is right, go read what their requirements are to be able to sell cattle to them. You'll never doctor a calf that you sell to them, ever. When you haul them in your trailer, you have to have so many square feet for each cow or calf. And that's if they don't have horns. And if they have horns, they get more space. And they have a, they have a number. I'm, I'm telling you, it's the truth. I was going to get one of the Whole Foods people to come speak at our convention one time. And I read their rules and I said, you know what? I don't think we might have a lynching. But, <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, you know, I'm going to make it short. Uh, there, there's some work, things going on with the checkoff. Uh, we passed the Texas checkoff. If you, you know, you just paid an extra dollar if you went. We just paid an extra dollar at the ICA sale. Uh, it's, uh, we're, we're working on that. The uh, Beef Council has put together their budget. We have two members on the Beef Council out of 20. And on the Cattlemen's Beef Board, which is a national organization that decides where the, the federal dollars go, we have three members out of 101. And that's pretty good for a small organization. We have a big voice nationally. But uh, we just signed our contract with uh, our uh, number one lobbyist, uh, former representative Bob Turner uh, from Stephenville. He's represented this for about a year and a half in Austin. And uh, he, he's the man. I'm just the guy that goes with him. And says, he introduces me as the guy that runs ICA. And he said that I make all the political decisions. But he does a really good job. He's, he was in, in the legislature for about a thousand years, and he's kind of one of the deans. He knows it. He's, he's working now. He's there every week. He goes to every committee meeting. He's met every one of the new staffers. He knows their first name. He knows their husband's name. He knows their wife's name. He knows their kids' names. He knows what they like to eat for lunch. And, uh, but he's, he's working. And he's the guy that can get the doors open for us when we need to talk to him. Because 90% of these legislatures are from the city. And they don't know beans about what y'all do. You know, meat, milk, that's from H-E-B. And that's, that's it. You know, they think behind the counter, there's like a meat factory back here. And a milk factory. But they take the water and add something to it to make the milk like they do Gatorade. 
but uh, and, and, and you know they're good people. You know they have to be to be elected because they didn't get there to get rich or not. Right? At least not for the, for the Texas legislature. But uh, if you sit down with them and you talk to them and you tell them the truth and just tell them, hey, this is why we're where we are on this issue, they'll listen. They won't always agree, but they will listen. And sometimes if we can just get a few to agree, we get it done. But uh, if you ever have a question, uh, call. If we're not there, because we're shorthanded, we just lost the best marketing and membership director we've ever had. Caitlin uh, Jeff Abram, that sorry devil from around here, married her off. At least I got invited to the wedding, but I, you know the part where they say, does anybody object? I was ready. You know, because it's hard to find good help these days. But they didn't have that in there. Come to think of it, they didn't have that love, honor, or obey part either. But I said it was in my wedding, but my wife said it wasn't. But anyway. If you have a question, give us a call, uh, give us an email. Uh, if you want a slow response, text me, because I'm a one-finger text backer, and my damn phone has this thing on it that corrects the spelling, but it's not the word I wanted, and so then I have to hit the delete key to take that off and start again. But uh, give us a call. Uh, if we're not there, my cell phone is there. Call me between 8 and 10 o'clock at night, and I'll be cheery. Uh, don't call in the next uh, nine days, because I'll be doing a survey on elk in Colorado. Uh, it, it, it's, it's animal health, animal health. But uh, you know, to see the condition they're in, and body fat, you know, texture of meat, things like that. But uh, y'all are great people. All of you that are sitting on cattle drive, I certainly appreciate it. Every, I mean, these guys, some of these guys came over at our sale and work. Mr. Kirkendall is there. Now, you know, he's 36 years old, but some of you younger guys could have been there too. But he helped, he was there every day, and we made sure that he didn't do too much because we knew his wife would get mad at us, but, uh, but he kept doing more than he was supposed to. But uh, we appreciate you guys. We appreciate you being here. Thank